We'll talk to you about three growth strategies that we're implementing in our business. Hopefully, some of this is relevant uh, to you as well. So before getting into the strategies, uh, first, I want to wish you a happy new year. And you think, maybe I'm late. Well, in Ethiopia, we celebrate New Year on September 11th. So I'm still a bit wait, late. Uh, and the year started off well. I know you've heard our prime minister just won the Nobel Peace Prize, which is a good thing for the country. Uh, but the New Year didn't start off so well for my parents. So I'll show you a picture of their New Year's party. So you see the 30 guests. Now, in fact, what happened is the power went out. There's no lights in Addis, which hap happens quite a bit. And uh, so the plan A was the regular power didn't work. They have a backup generator because this happens often. Uh, the generator didn't work. And so there was a heated discussion around how to get it working. That never materialized. And so they spent New Year's like this. So there's, uh, this is not perfect because there's some candles involved. But you had 30 people sort of walking around. And so that illustrates a problem. So it's a very solvable one. F fixing a generator happens every day. Thousands of times people are looking for somebody to fix something, but uh, that call goes unanswered. And you can imagine how much money my parents would have been willing to pay to have that person come and fix that generator, but it didn't happen. So this happens thousands and thousands of times a day. It's a local search, so emergency generator repair. Thousands of times a day in Ethiopia, millions of times in Africa, and these are opportunities um, for us to solve. And as background, um, certainly Africa is growing. I mean, you've probably read uh, different accounts of this, but generally you'll see that uh, about seven of the ten top fastest growing markets are uh, in Africa. You have countries that are growing seven, eight, nine percent. For those of you that travel, I know that uh, some of my colleagues are here. Uh, you see that the environment is definitely growing. Uh, it reflects itself in terms of mobile penetration. So of the billion, 1.2 billion people, there's about 500 million mobile subscribers. Um, you see some countries like in Kenya, we get 90% mobile penetration, 50% access to internet. So we're cer certainly hitting critical mass. And if you look at Nigeria, there's more internet users in Nigeria than there are in France. So certainly there is critical mass of users that are there. The challenge or the opportunity from our perspective is businesses are not there. So a lot of users are there, but businesses are not there. So less than 10, 11 percent. Um, so in our universe, we, we figure about 50 million, uh, you know, anywhere between 50 and 90 million, maybe 50 million businesses that count on the continent um, uh, exist, but less than 10 percent are there. So that generator, mechanic, technician is not online, very, very high likelihood. And so um, we have three ways that we've ad identified to try to address that situation. The first thing is through data, so indexing those businesses so we know who they are. That's number one. Uh, number two is educating them. So a lot of them may be using the Internet, uh, sort of, you know, either they're searching or they may be using social media, but educating them on why this is relevant for their business needs, uh, which is maybe relevant for markets here as well. Um, and finally, to build trust, because one of the things that we found is that we can give uh, somebody a listing and say this is a business. They won't trust them to come to the house unless they know who they are. So we have a, a solution for how do we build uh, trust as well. So I'll cover all three of them. 